Today, we will talk about how to prevent heat stroke in dogs. Let's have a look at the details. Hot summer weather can be more dangerous to dogs than many pet owners realize. When a dog's internal temperature is raised too high, they can suffer a potentially fatal heat stroke. To keep your dog cool, make sure that they are prepared for hot weather with plenty of water and shade. If you are walking your dog, you may want to switch your usual path for a cooler, shadier trail. The first method is cooling down your dog. Trim but do not shave their coat. Dog's fur is designed not only to keep them warm but to protect their skin from the sun. Some breeds have heavier coats than others, and you may want to take them to a dog groomer to have their coat trimmed for the summer months. Leave a water bowl outside. If you have a backyard where your dog runs free, you should leave out a full bowl of water when they are running around in the heat. Give dogs plenty of shade. Dogs will need shady areas to rest while they are outside so that they do not overheat. Avoid tethering your dog outside for long periods of time. In the summertime, it is inadvisable to leave your dog tethered for more than 15 minutes. If you need to go shopping, leave the dog at home. Cool down the dog if they exhibit signs of heat stroke. Symptoms of heat stroke include heavy panting, difficulty breathing, loss of energy, drooling, and any obvious weakness or stumbling. If your dog is starting to show these signs, you can hose them down with cool, but not cold, water. The goal is to slowly bring the dog's temperature down. You should have the dog checked out by a veterinarian. The second method is walking and exercising with your dog. Go out during the cooler hours. The early morning and late evening hours will be much cooler than the middle of the day. It is recommend to walk your dog during these hours to avoid the worst of the heat. Walk your dog on soft ground. Asphalt can become dangerously hot during the summer, burning your dog's paws and increasing their temperature. Instead of walking on sidewalks or blacktop, try to find dirt trails or grassy areas where you can walk your dog. Carry a collapsible water dish. You will need to give your dog plenty of water while you walk. Plan on taking frequent breaks so that your dog can rehydrate. Rest in shady areas. If your dog starts panting heavily or stumbling, they need to rest. These may be signs of oncoming heat stroke. Find a cool, shaded area to let your dog cool off for a few minutes. Watch for signs of overheating. Keep an eye on your dog for signs of heat stroke. If your pet begins to tire or pant heavily, stop in a shady spot and give them some water. If symptoms don't subside, take them directly home and seek veterinary care. And, the third method is driving with your dog. Equip your car with window shades. When your car is parked, you can put these shades in the windshield to prevent the car from heating up too much. The shades block out direct sunlight. Give your dog water breaks. Your dog will need to be hydrated during the journey. If you are going on a long car trip, make sure to take regular breaks every hour or two to give your dog water. Bring along a travel dish or a collapsible water dish. Pour water in from a water bottle, and let your dog drink until they are satisfied. Put the air conditioner on. Even if you don't need the A, C, your dog might. Proper ventilation and airflow are important for your dog in the car. If your dog is traveling in a crate, make sure that the air can reach them. The crate should have holes, and the airflow should be unobstructed towards the crate. Never leave your dog unattended in a parked car. Do not leave your dog in the car, even for just a few minutes. Leave them at home when you need to go to the store. If you are traveling with them, keep them close at all times. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.